As we sat at my client's small wooden table, she told me about her life and shared a story about an elderly man she befriended when she was younger. One day, she told me, she heard the sad news that his wife had died, and so the next time she visited the man, she brought him a beautiful handmade gift, a mobile made out of origami paper cranes, to remind him of his wife, who had loved birds when she was alive. I briefly held my breath as she told me this story. I imagined her folding each paper crane, arranging them just so on the mobile, and then handing off her tender creation to her grieving friend. A few months later, I was in a bookstore and noticed a book about origami. Thinking about that paper crane story, I bought it on a whim for $7 and pretty soon, Folding origami flowers became a new way for me to relax. I was sad and grieving a lot at that time. Two family members I loved very, very dearly died within a few months of each other. My Aunt Susan and then my great Aunt Peggy. And I had had a few miscarriages back to back to back. Some days my work, which was to support so many other families and pregnancies and babies. I felt like I was constantly pressing on a painful bruise. I cried a lot. I started stashing origami paper in my car so I could fold flowers in between home visits or during my lunch breaks. I would find a quiet spot to park in on a side street, under a tree, or in an empty corner of a strip mall parking lot, wherever. And I would sit and I would fold flowers. Somehow, it helped. As time went on, my client with the paper crane story continued to share her light with me and eventually gave birth to a baby girl. We shared so many smiles as we watched her daughter grow. She ended up moving to another state when the baby was only a few months old. I was sad to say goodbye. That was a few years ago. I often wonder what she would think of the flowers I continue to fold. Mm 